What's up guys, I'm Swift Vargas and I am back with another video. Today I'm gonna be talking about when I'm getting back in the gym, when is gonna be my next fight. Cause a lot of people been talking, you know, a lot of <laughs> saying, um, I wanna see training videos. Uh, when is gonna be your next fight? When you gonna get back in the ring? And stuff like that. First of all, I wanna start off saying that when I fought Cepeda, when I saw from my Technically my first loss back in October. I was back in the gym like three weeks later, a month later. And I was sparring already right away. I started sparring, I started training, getting back in the gym, staying in shape, you know, just maintaining. I wanted to act like nothing happened, you know. I just wanted to get back in the ring as soon as possible after the fight. You know, most of the time when a fighter suffer for a loss like that, they end up taking it like a year or a couple months off. I ain't wanted to be that fighter. I wanted to be that fighter that I could show I still could fight and show to the world that I want to get back in the ring as soon as possible ASAP. This is my job. I didn't ever took a break from that fight, from that um, from that loss. So I feel like I should have taken a break, maybe like a year or so, or some couple months, maybe like eight months, ten months without fighting or nothing like that with no sparring because you know it was a it was a bad uh, it was a bad loss. So I ended up fighting six months later in Vegas with this guy named De Mario from Argentina and when I fought him I was kind of rusty you know and I was like I want to I want to box and not get caught with stupid shots so I was being more alert and stuff like that and I ended up getting dropped like in the fourth round fifth round with a jab I didn't do no strength conditioning for that um for that fight but I want to put no excuses no excuses at all. Anyways, I got the victory in Vegas. Um, after that, I took like a mini vacation in Hawaii for about a week. And then I got back in the gym after Hawaii. Because I was fighting June 11 in Madison Square Garden. So you see, during all these time, I'm not taking no break or anything. I'm training, sparring, and fighting. With 8 ounce gloves, no headgear. So, yes, this is a lot, you know. But I'm a fighter, I'm a true fighter, I'm a true warrior, so I, this is what I do, this is what I love to do. So that's why I get back in the gym and, and, and try to keep my mind occupied, and I want to keep learning too, and improving. So, I ended up fighting in July 11th at Madison Square Garden. Shit, that fight right there, um, the first round, everybody know I won the first round clearly. You know, I didn't fight nobody big, a guy was 12 and 5, Dakota Linger, and the second round, I should have known he was gonna come with that crazy pressure because I've been watching his tapes like during my whole training camp and I see he come out strong in the second round all the time in every single fight. First round, he tests you out. He start like moving around, like try to box and stuff like that. But the second round, he come crazy. Like talk, like running at you with pressure. And I should have known that in the second round, I should have known he was gonna come with that crazy pressure. For my last fight, there was no excuses. I was ready, I felt strong. The night the night of the fight, I came in like 155 pounds, 56 pounds. After weighing in the day before, 140 pounds. So I felt good, I was, I was strong, I did strength conditioning, my legs were strong. Second round, he came out crazy and I was boxing him and everything, I got caught with a shot. I didn't recover early enough because he started talking at me and coming at me all crazy, so I ended up losing. And now, I'm gonna take time off. I, I realized that I need time off. Doesn't make me a whack fighter. Y'all could talk all y'all want, criticize me all y'all want, but I know I can fight my ass off. You know, a lot of people that really watch me, they know what I could do, and and that's that's my true for supporters. They know what I could do in the ring and outside of the ring. So this time, I'm gonna just really take time off, but I'm gonna stay in the gym regardless. Without sparring or fighting, just stay in the gym, staying in shape, so I can keep my belly down, you know? And, um. I'll be back in the gym sometime next week when I get back to Florida because right now I'm still in New York. I still haven't been back home to Orlando and I'm gonna be back in the gym soon. I'm gonna be training, getting in shape, um, and just working on new things. Just working on new things and just try to get better and try to get stronger and 
just keep my mind right and sharp, you know? Just staying focused. Nothing changes, I still believe in God. I'll become world champion one day. So I will be taking some time off and I'll be back in the ring sometime next year. I don't wanna fight yet, till like a year from now. So I can know I got my mind right and my head right and I'm in the right path, you know? It's boxing and it's part of the sport. This is what I signed up for, so I take my losses like I take my wins. I'm always keeping my head up high and this is why I'm talking to you guys right now so y'all can understand me and know a little bit what happened with my last two losses and stuff like that. So stay tuned, I will keep posting on my YouTube about my boxing career and pranks and all that and comedy and all everything else. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. You know, after my last five, I've been spending time with my family here in New York. I want to need a quality time. This is why I got family over everything because they mean the word to me. So. I'm going to get back to the gym once I get back to Florida, so stay tuned for that.